Okay team Wikispeed, this is Tom Tabor and this is the update version 2 to this uh, simple wide body chassis design. So what we're looking at is our classic body chassis, the one that we're currently using. If we flip, flip over we can see the modifications I've made with the help of Stefan's input. So you can see it's a little bit wider here. We have actually three beams going across the bottom. Let's just zoom in a little bit more to that. And we can see that we've added another rail underneath the door and a post at the side of the door as well, just to help with that front crash impact resistance and also side impact resistance, as well as just stiffening up uh, the frame in the, the area of this doorway where we have this big gap in the frame. You also see we've added the two latch system suggested by Stefan, uh, which is similar to what's done on Subaru, at least the Imprezas. And so we want to have something that's more like a conventional door latch. This is just a mock-up that there is a latch at that location. So if we flip over to the exploded view, we can actually see all the parts and pieces. We have this post that fills the gap between the top and lower, uh, another post on the outside, and this third post that actually just ties the whole thing together and uh, is next to the door. If we flip, flip around to the side, we can see just how everything's laid out from this side. And this is what it looks like all put together. So we have uh, so these are three four inch thick aluminum beams. So it's actually 12 inches across each side of here. So really just stiffening up uh, in that area by using that many uh, beams welded together. And so they're welded along the entire length of the seams on the top and the bottom and the ends as well. You also see that we're using the beveled doors in this design as well. And that the hinge is now out the outside of the door. So when you put the, uh, carbon, fib the carbon fiber uh, outer shell or door shell attached to this, the hinge is going to be closer to that so the door can actually open more naturally and closer to that, that door seam. And you can see here, also we'll just zoom in a little bit, we can see this beam on the outer side actually extends all the way down to the ground as well. And this really creates a, a strong pillar in the middle of the car. You can see it from this side of the door closed and just ties up very neatly so they actually have kind of this this frame around the whole door that's just holding it in there and really increasing our, our side impact and front impact crash resistance as well as just stiffening that whole frame up. And you can see the width is still wide, so the interior width is still just added, extended by 16 inches, so it's 8 inch width. This outer beam doesn't increase the interior uh, space, but it does increase the frame width uh, stiffness. And again, just another view of the lashes closed and the whole body. So let's go over to the inventory and just look at all the parts and pieces needed. Of course, on the left-hand side here, we can see that our chass classic chassis, the current one, is three bars of, or three beams of 20 foot, four inch by four inch aluminum stock. In this design, it takes four and just a little over half, so 11 feet here on this extra here. And you see one of the beams needs a bunch of 45 degree cuts to actually make those doors. And that is this update of version 2 of this. I think we're going to keep iterating this until we get something that meets all of our design specs. So um, maybe when we run through finite element analysis, this would be another one that we'd want to run through and just see how it performs. Um, of course, weight is a consideration as well as strength and just uh, the functionality and accessibility of the vehicle as well. So those will all be taken into account. Hope you like this video. Please add any comments below or send it back through team email. Thanks very much.